we are officially kicking off the public notice um, for acting upon the, the inspection, um, allowing testimony and evidence by the property owner, owner, town officials, agents, employees, and public for the location of, of 157 Route 100C, owned by Edward P. Monterock of North Hyde Park. Apologies if I said the last name incorrectly. Um, and we are now officially in public meeting. Um, I do not see the property owner um, in attendance. Um, we do have Dean Locke in attendance. And Dean, will you be testifying today? Yes, I'll be presenting, uh, presenting evidence. OK, so Dean, can you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear that the evidence you shall give relative to the cause now under consideration shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. I do. Thank you very much. Um, so I think that since you're our only witness at the moment, um, we will go ahead and hear your testimony. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start by presenting to the board um, several different uh, types of evidence. Mm, they, I have to speak up loud, more loudly. If you want to pull a chair over and we'll just take, come. Or we'll take your mic. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so I have to present to the board um, some of the forms of evidence um, in regards to me being the uh, town health officer um, with my communication in regards to the uh, uh, the home at 157, 157 Route 100C. Um, First, I will present to the board copies of photos taken of the site. Um, you can pass down, uh, there's a couple of photos. Um, then I will be presenting all emails and correspondence in regards to, um, so you can take one packet of each. Beth, can I um, acknowledge that as per the ordinance, um, Dean has provided a copy of the dilapidated, dilapidated buildings inspection report to Rosemary has called, who then passed it on to us so that we do have a copy of the dilapidated buildings report. Yes, thank you. That'll be part of your evidence, I assume? Is yes, the it report? is. Yes. Um, Next form of evidence will be a copy of the return certified registered letter that was sent to try and uh, communicate with the property owner. Next is a copy of the uh, my inspection of the property. Those are current photos, yes. Photos were taken today. And uh, last piece of evidence is my narrative, uh, basically a uh, time uh, line of communication You just take for the following the pick the non picture holders. You just take one and pass them on. They're all. Okay, Dean. If you want to go ahead with your um, talking about some of your testimony, that would be great. Sure. Um, I feel one would probably be best if if, um, if the board feels that I can directly read right through my uh, narrative. Yeah. Um, so we can see what time building notes that you Yes. Um, so February 2023, above mentioned building uh, location was burned 
by pursuing arson on 1-18-2023. Eugene, Eugenia Zachs Carney reached out to Brian Story, past town manager, and wanted to make sure to comply with any town ordinances and for any potential financial support for Edward uh, Manturic uh, in managing the site cleanup. April 28th, uh, reached out to Chris Manturic, uh, son of Edward. Uh, message was left, called, returned. We missed each other again, left another message. May 2nd, uh, after, other, after several phone calls, Chris, requested a copy of the town ordinance uh, after a phone conversation so his lawyer could review it, email copy of dilapidated building ordinance to Chris on May 3rd. On May 12th, called Chris and left another message. Chris is the son. Chris is the son, yep. Spoke, yeah, days are yes. Spoke with Chris in June and agreed to the deadline of a site cleanup by July 19th. We made it for a minimum of five week time frame. Observed several days of work being done on site around June 13th. Attempted contact with Chris during the time frame to check in. Um, a flood of the town of Johnson on July 11th occurred. It did not impact the property in question, but did bring my and the town's focus to more immediate needs and concerns of the community and those affected by the event. November 2023, through the Direction Select Board, focused on reaching out to Edward Mentor as the owner of the above property in question to reconnect and give notice of inspection pending. After researching grand lists and lister cards of Johnson and Hyde Park, found a PO Box 126 in Hyde Park address and sent a certified registered mail to that address November 14th. The letter was returned unclaimed on December 1st. Uh, inspection done on the site during, during the month of November. Uh, January 12th, email attempted connecting with Chris Manturk to ask for his father's contact information as I was unable to find it. January 21st, Chris returned the email, confirmed he was uh, not the designated executor of the above property, which was a question that I asked to clarify, and then stated he would pass on my contact information contained within the email to his father as I requested to contact him regarding above mentioned property and pending hearing. This was the last communication on this matter. Okay, um, Dean, during this, did you ever have a plan for the, did you ever communicate with either Edward or Chris on a plan for the property clean, uh, cleanup? Yes, the plan for the property cleanup was started with a conversation with uh, Brian Story, the past uh, town manager, uh, and I, uh, this property was, so you were part of the conversation. We were part of the conversation. This okay. party, this building was was designated as a building that we were going to um, uh, going to focus on with the dilapidated uh, building ordinance, and then the fire occurred um, shortly after um, we started we we started the process of reaching out to the owner. Um, after the fire occurred, with that deadline that I imposed uh, on July um, with Chris, it, we laid out through conversation. Um, hey, I uh, just want to check. Can you hear me right now? Yeah, we can hear you, Shane. What we would, what I was asking for them to do at the site. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to speak to in terms of what you've presented as in evidence? Nothing I can think of at this time. Okay. Uh, does anyone on the board have questions for Dean? I have one. <clears throat> um, on the inspection report, Item number two, is the property an effective nuisance to children? You answered no, 
on that one. Can you I did. Yes. just explain what your thinking was on that? Um, my thought process around that is it's 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 not a a any part of a dwelling or any part of a structure that is now basically the cellar hole remnants and the materials that were hauled out around that. Um, so my my thinking was that something within that within that would be what I would feel would be if there was a building that you know that that youth could get into and you know cause issues and vandalize. There's uh, there's not really much there for um, what I would consider uh, youth to you know be a nuisance with. But that that's my thoughts on <clears throat> in, uh, on the state of it. So just a, a quick follow up under the definition section of section three. Mm -hmm. Open door base item number two is any physical condition or occupancy of any premises or property considered an attractive nuisance to children, including but not limited to abandoned well shafts, basements, excavations, and unsafe fences and structures. So your your take on it would be that it did not meet the minimum threshold of number two. Yes, I stand on that. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? What role, Dean, what role did sex carbon play? Um, yes. Yeah. So in the very beginning of conversation, um, she is uh, she was a, a realtor that was very well known to the family and <laughs> was actually the middle kind of person that started the conversation with Brian's story. Okay. And 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 both Chris and Edward were linked into that conversation. I'm not quite clear on Maybe it was just because of just her being known by the family, but um, that was that was the person that kind of reached out in the very beginning. Yeah. Do you believe she's a realtor out of Michigan? Any other questions for Dean? Okay. Um, I'm not hearing any, so thank you very much, Dean. Um, since we do not have the property owner. I would like to propose that we keep the hearing open until 6.30, at which point we'll, I don't it's for, because we're going to enter into deliberation at some point, but we can't do it right off. There's no timeline for yeah. Yeah, but okay, there's a difference between having a timeline from a response to the board and deliberating. And I think the fact that we have a hearing, we should follow the hearing with deliberations. So we should talk about this tonight while it's fresh after testimony. Oh, we can enter deliberations and start the select board meeting late, or we can enter deliberations exit and then enter back into them after the select board meeting. Yeah, we could do either. That's true. I would, I would suggest that it would be proper at some point to close the hearing for the purposes of collecting additional evidence. Yep. <clears throat> so before we do that though, I think that um, we should just speak to the emails received from the property owner. And I think as a board, we should submit those as evidence. And I'm specifically referring to, prop to both pictures as well as a document provided by the property owner uh, does anyone know the date that those came in? I have a copy of the document. This dated February 15th. And a letter from Edward Mantrick. Mm -hmm. And the, fiction, the pictures followed the same date. Yes. I, I would also suggest that it would be worth entering into the record um, two emails from, uh, from David Williams. One dated April 18th, 2023. 
is one dated May 1st, 2023. And I have copies of those in my submitted. Uh, do you want to give those to me and all? That's that's the mentor letter okay. as well. And that was February 16th, the ninth calendar. There's probably one of those emails, the, the, okay. the document, the letters you didn't get to. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay, does anyone know of any other evidence that should be submitted? Not hearing any. Do we need to make it clear that, that they were the address of our section? Okay. Sounds like you just did. So yes, thank you. Um, is there anyone else who would be interested in testimony and testifying, either in the room or on Zoom? Hearing none. Um, we are three minutes away from closing testimony. Um, Dean, do you have the picture folder? That's the only folder I don't have up here. Perfect, thank you. <clears throat> I just want to compile all of the pieces of evidence that we have discussed. Yep. Thanks. And also, I don't know, but I did compile everything that I gave to you, a copy for the property owner, and he did show up. I did prepare a, a, a copy so that he could have all the- Of all the same things. All the same thing. I don't know if that's something that the board has pulled or if it should just hold. Uh, if you want to go ahead and hold it. I would suggest that since apparently the only way we have the communicating with this manager at this point is through an email address that you scan all of that data and send it to him via email as copies of the evidence that has been submitted by you. Yeah, you're already corresponding with him, so that would work. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, if you just, yeah, just make sure that they're PDFs that you're sending as okay. opposed to Word documents. Um, okay, I think that we are at a point where it's two minutes left. We're going to go ahead and close testimony. Um, so, board, would we like to deliberate after our select board meetings or now? I have no preference. Is, will this be done in public session? No. Deliberation is not public. Deliberation is closed door. Yeah. How this would work is the entire deliberative session. I don't think our ordinance has any specific requirement with regard to when a decision has to be made. It's probably worth uh, checking whether there's any standard for a written decision. I, one thing I, I do want to point out in open session is that should an appeal be taken on this matter, it goes to the Superior Court and what we develop as a written fi uh, findings of fact and written decision become the basis for any review by the Superior Court. So it's very important that we get this part of it right. Do we know of um, that happening in the past? Do we already have a foundation? Uh, for developing a written decision? Um, I'm sure that the OCT must have templates. I know that in the past, the town has had these kinds of people and developed written decisions, written findings, facts, and decisions. Yeah. One other thing that's critical that we do is notify the individual as part of that written decision what the appeal process is. Yes. Okay. Procedurally, uh, the written decision is next. Following that is um, 
the select board uh, shall direct the owner thereof to produce and deliver the select board of plan. Um, and then in the event that the plan is accepted, um, the owner shall implement said plan immediately and shall complete within the same time as the select board. So there's still an opportunity for a plan to come before and another decision to accept that plan. Um, and then in the event that a, a plan is uh, fails, to, the owner fails to submit plan, then the town shall proceed to enforce the ordinance provided therein shall see conjunction relief. Yeah, and I believe the written decision would include a requirement that, well, we shouldn't presuppose what yeah, we the decision will be. Yep, we um, <clears throat> need to, we'll talk about that in deliberations. Yep. Okay, so it sounds like we are ready to recess until after the uh, regular select board meeting immediately following, where we'll deliberate, find our fact, uh, have our finding of fact, um, and um, take next steps from there. So everyone is in agreement that we're ready to recess? We'll not call it a recess. I, I think we should close the hearing. Close the hearing, okay. And we can close the hearing and deliberate separately. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll officially close the hearing then at six thirty-two. And uh, will you report out from your executive session tonight? Um, we will determine our finding of fact and follow up with a written notice to the property owner. Um, so. No, I don't think we come out with a finding of fact. No, publicly. Okay. The next public, the next public item would be reviewing the plan. Well, the, the written decision is public. Document. Is a public document. Is a public document, so it can be requested. So you can request it from Tom David <clears throat> when it's available. Well, you know, as, as entertaining as I find select board meetings to be, um, you know. I, I could stand and miss them and uh, then check in on the you know, the results of of, of this uh, proceeding, but uh, it sounds like you know, that'll be forthcoming later. Yeah, it will be. It'll be a number of days that it'll be before the written letter is available, and once it is available, it'll be public record. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Thank you, David and...